Hi everyone. For the given sequence, we're going to find the sum of the first n terms. We have 1 comma, 1 plus 3 comma, 1 plus 3 plus 3 squared comma, 1 plus 3 plus 3 squared plus 3 cubed comma. And so basically you just keep adding um, uh, another 3. The next one would be 3 to the power 4. So basically your nth term is 1 plus 3 plus 3 squared, we're just looking at this one, plus 3 cubed, plus dot, 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 and then this uh, last term is going to be 3 to the power of n minus 1. So that's just this expanded, um, and you have to use 3 to the power of n minus 1 because our first term is 1. So you have 3 to the power of n minus 1, and your first term, a sub 1, you substitute 1 in here, you're going to get 3 to the power of 0, well, that equals 1. If this first term was 3, we would just use 3 to the power of n. All right, and then just condensing this, this is going to equal 1 times 3 to the power of n, because your common ratio is 3, minus 1, divided by 3 minus 1. So this gives you, uh, this is a 2, so this is 1 half times 3 to the power of n minus 1. So now we're going to find the sum of the first n terms. So our s sub n is going to equal the sum, and we're going to change this n to k. So we're going to go k equals 1 to n of 1 half times 3 to the power of k minus 1, minus big 1, sorry. All right, all right. Uh, if I separate all this out, uh, I'm going to pull this out and write this as one half, and then I'm going to write the sum of k equals one uh, to n of three k little k, and then minus the sum from k equals one to n of 1. Now this part here is just going to be uh, n, because that's just 1 times n. All right, so this piece here, uh, we're going to use uh, this formula here. So this is going to give you 1 half. This is what we have in front. And then we're going to have our uh, first term, substituting in 1, it's going to be 3. So your first term for this now is 3. So that's going to be 3 times uh, 3 to the power of n minus, uh, 3 to the power of n minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1. And I'm just using this uh, formula here. And then we still have this minus n. All right, so before we move on, this is going to be a 2 so I'm going to have to uh, get a common denominator and make this 2. So basically what we would have is uh, this equals 1 half, and then we're going to have 3 times 3 to the power of n minus 1 divided by 2 minus 2n divided by 2. Now that I have my common denominator, what I can do is factor out this uh, 1 half. So this is going to equal uh, 1 divided by 4, and then, uh, so that goes away, and we're just left with 3 times 3 to the power of n minus 1 minus 2n. Or you could distribute this, this if you want it. This, this answer is really good, just like this. But if you want it, you could distribute that and um, write this as 1 fourth, and this would be 3 to the power of n plus 1 minus 3 minus 2n. That's another option. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.